and welcome to 3D Motivation, a part of the Deep Suite, where we're delivering vision, we're delivering purpose, and we're delivering legacy, one person at a time. I am your host, Cheryl Lacey Donovan, and we are thrilled to have you here with us this morning. Today is Affirmations Wednesday, Affirmations Wednesday, and you know what happens on Affirmations Wednesday. We go through an affirmation, and then we ask ourselves three self-reflection questions. So before we get started on the affirmation for today, I just want to remind you that you can connect with us on Facebook at Real Life Real Faith with Cheryl Lacey Donovan, or on my personal page, Cheryl Lacey Donovan. You can also connect with me on Twitter and on Instagram at Cheryl Speaks Now. That's Cheryl with a C, Speaks Now. I also have a website, www.cherylspeaks.org. So make sure you go out there and find out what's going on with me. And I wanted to let you guys know that I will be traveling and touring this summer with my new book, Can I Be Me? Living Authentically in Purpose on Purpose. That's right. The book dropped on June the 1st and we made it to the uh, well above the top 100 um, of the hot new releases for the month of June. We're really excited about that. We've also been able to work out something with Kroger's where I will be visiting many of the Kroger stores in the region where I live, which includes Texas and parts of Louisiana. So hopefully I'll be able to meet some of you guys when I go out on tour this summer. I'm going to be kicking that off actually this weekend, uh, July the 14th through the 15th in San Antonio, Texas for the NAACP National Convention. I will be in the Authors Pavilion signing my books on Saturday and Sunday, and I will also be available to moderate a panel on developing future leaders. So if you live in the San Antonio, Texas area, please come out and see me there. I also want to remind you that we do have the D Suite every Sunday afternoon at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time on Rima Gospel Radio. That's RimaGospelRadio.com, 101.5 K-O-E-R FM in Cypress, Texas. Make sure to tune in on Sunday's afternoon at 1 p.m. We'd love to hear you there. You can also call in and let us know what you think about the programming that we have. So having said all of that, let's jump right on into today's affirmation. Today's affirmation says, I start fresh. I start fresh. Each day is an opportunity to start anew. I make a fresh beginning. I experiment more. Just doing one thing differently creates a chain reaction. I find myself branching out and enjoying exciting adventures. My confidence increases and my life seems fuller. I stop and think before I act. I make conscious choices instead of operating on autopilot. I watch out for self-limiting beliefs and habits that make me less effective. I develop new routines that leverage my strengths and prepare me for success. I forgive myself and others. I let go of resentments and disappointments. I replenish my energy levels. I give my body adequate rest and sleep. I eat nourishing whole foods and exercise daily. I find relaxation methods that work for me. I evaluate my goals. I drop low priority projects so that I can devote more time to the activities that give me the greatest sense of meaning and accomplishment. I follow through. I give my ideas a chance to come to fruition. I do my research, gather the necessary resources and write out specific action plans. I give myself deadlines and assess my progress. I embrace change. I reframe losses as opportunities. I find a balance between stagnation and chaos. I give myself credit for being resilient and adaptable. I become more proactive. Today, I reboot my life. I leave the past behind and take a giant step forward. I focus on being happy and productive. I start fresh. 
So make sure you go back and listen to the affirmation. Uh, repeat some of the same words if you choose to do so. And then think about these self-reflection questions. Number one, what is the one thing that holds me back from starting over and how can I overcome it? What is the one thing that holds me back from starting over and how can I overcome it? And I want to submit to you this morning that uh, for some people, for a lot of people, that one thing is unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. They have difficulty letting go of the things in the past that have caused them hurt or that have caused them pain and disappointment. And because of that, they continue to tell themselves or continue to believe in their minds that they are not moving forward as a result of what someone else has done to them or said to them or some other situation that someone else has created in their lives. Beloved, let me tell you something. If you let go of that unforgiveness and move on, and that, yes, that does mean forgetting, and not necessarily that you just forget the entire incident, but you don't dwell on that incident, then you will move forward and be able to start afresh. Until you do that, that person or that thing or that situation continues to hold you in bondage and keep you shackled, and you cannot move forward. So, number one, what is the thing that holds me back from from starting over and how can I overcome it? Number two, how can I tell when I am getting stuck in a rut? How can I tell when I am getting stuck in a rut? And we all know we've heard it before that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So how can you identify when you are stuck in a rut? And number three, how does changing my attitude change my experiences? How does changing my attitude change my experiences? And I can tell you that um, I remember, you know, asking God one day, Lord, you know, if the situation is not going to change, change me for the situation. Create something in me that allows me to move forward in the chaos or move forward with the issue that I'm dealing with at hand. So how can how can the way that I, if I change my attitude, how can that change my perspective? How can that change my outlook uh, with regards to the experiences that I'm having? So, beloveds, I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, Wednesday affirmation. I start fresh. Go back and listen to it as many times as you need to and take the time to stop and reflect on the questions that we've asked on today. Um, It's truly amazing to be with you here each and every Monday, Wednesday and Friday for 3D Motivation. I enjoy what I do. Um, Hopefully you can tell that by the way that I exude uh, the passion that I have over the airwaves. Uh, Thank you so much for joining on today. And remember that you can connect with me on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. And come out there and meet me, guys. Let me know what you think. Come out there and see me in some of the sites that we're going to be stopping at. That information is located on Facebook as well as on Twitter and Instagram. So come and meet me. I would love to see you. And if you have a women's group, a women's ministry, a book club, and you guys would like me to come out and talk to you about my book or do a group coaching session with you related to some of the Topics in the book, let me know. Drop me a line at Cheryl Speaks at gmail.com. Cheryl Speaks at gmail.com. This has been 3D Motivation Affirmation Wednesday. Love you.